Welcome back. This is part three. It's on solving systems of linear equations using this method called elimination. Eliminate means to get rid of something. This section here gives an outline of the procedure and we'll do some examples to see what actually is happening here. You can read this section yourself. This is example one. We have two equations here. 5x plus 3y equals 17. We call that equation 1. And minus 5x plus 2y equals 3. And we call that equation 2. What we look for are two terms that are the same or maybe only different from the sign. We have 3 and 2, so they're different. But we notice that we've got a 5 and minus 5 here. If you were to add your equations, We'd have 5x plus negative 5x, which would give you 0. So that's good because now x is eliminated. And now we have 3 plus 2, which would be 5y. And on this side, 17 plus 3 is 20. So that means we can find y. So y would be 20 divided by 5, which is 4. So our first answer is y equals 4. Okay, so when you found one value, we substitute back into either equation. So let's use equation 1. And then we've got 5x plus 3y equals 17. That was equation 1. And now we take our y value and put that into y here, and then we can find x. So 5x plus 3y, and y is 4, equals 17. 5x plus 3 fourths of 12, equals 17. 5x equals 17 minus 12 is 5. So in that case, x equals 1. So our solution here is 1, 4. That's the solution to this system of equations. This is example 2. We have two equations. We have 3x plus 3y equals 15. That's equation 1. And 2x plus 6y equals 22, which is equation 2. Now we notice that these numbers are different now. We have 3 and 2, and we have 3 and 6. So they're all different. We need to make one of these the same. So I recommend you multiply equation 1 by 2, and we see what that does. So we're going to multiply equation 1 by 2. So 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times 3y is 6y. And 2 times 15 is 30. We can keep that as equation 1 because it's just equation 1 that's been changed. So then I'm going to write equation 2 down again. 2x plus 6y equals 22. That's equation 2. Now you can see why I did that. Now we have 6y, 6y here, which means that when we subtract them, will get zero. So we can have 6x minus 2x, which is 4x. 6y minus 6y is zero. So cancel. 30 minus 22 is 8. So in this case, x must be 2. That's your first solution. So to find y, we take this number and substitute back to either 1 or 2. So let's use 1. So sub x equals 2 into equation 1. What will you get? Put up here. So we have 3x and x is 2 plus 3y equals 15. So 3, 2 is a 6. 3y equals 15. 3y equals 15 minus 6, which is 9. So 3y equals 9. Therefore, y equals 3. So your final solution 
is 2. The first value is always x. And then the second value you write is 3. So that's your solution to this system of equations. What you should do is actually put each number back into the equation and check that they work in both equations. So put 2 into x and then put 3 into y and check you get 15. And then put 2 into x here and 3 into y here. And then check you get 22 as well. If they're correct in both equations, then you have the correct answer. In example three, we have the same kind of problem. We have three and two here, different numbers. And we have two and seven here, different again. So it looks like we're going to have to change both equations here. And we have two and three here. So how about we both make these into six? So the first equation is equation one. I'm going to multiply that by two. So I'll get two times three, which is six x, two times minus two, which is minus four y, and then two times five equals ten. So that's equation one, which is exactly the same. If you were to graph this equation and this one, they're the same graph. Nothing's actually changed. So then I'm going to multiply equation two by three. So I'm going to get 3 times 2x, which is 6x, 3 times 7y, 21y, and 3 times 9 is 27. That's equation 2. So now I see I've got 6x, 6x here, which means we can eliminate that 6x. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go. Two, I'm going to go 2 minus 1. So equation 2 minus equation 1. So 6x minus 6x is 0. That's gone. 21 minus negative 4. So 21 minus negative 4 will be 21 plus 4, which is 25. So this is going to be 25y. 27 minus 10 is 17. So y will be 17 on 25. We have a fraction answer. So again, this would be difficult to get this number by graphing, by using pencil and paper. So y is 17 on 25. So I'm going to substitute that back in to equation 1, for example. So sub in equation number 1. Put it in. So 3x minus 2y equals 5. So that's 3x minus 2 times y, and y is given 17 on 25 equals 5. Now, if you were to calculate that and rearrange, you'll get x equals 53 on 25. So this is quite difficult. You can use the calculator for that part. So your solution then is 53 on 25 and 17 on 25. And you can substitute the numbers back into your equation and check you get these answers. Okay, this is example four. Notice it's a little bit different because we have decimals here. OK, so what we should do here is start by multiplying by a larger number. So in equation one, we could multiply this by 10. Multiply everything by 10. Because I don't want these decimals, they're difficult to work with. So multiply by 10, 10 times the minus 0.3 would be 3. So minus 3x, 10 times 0.5 will be 5, 5y, 10 times 0.1, minus 0.1 will be minus 1. So it's looking better because now we don't have any decimals. So the second one 
is this part is to two decimal places. So let's multiply that by 100 instead. So equation two times 100. So we'll get 100 times 0 0.01, we'll give one, one X, which is X. 100 times 0 0.4, 10, 100. That will give 40. So minus 40Y. And 100 times 0 0.38, 10, 100. That would give minus 38. That's equation two. So these numbers are a little bit different. So it looks like we could multiply equation one by eight. What happens then? So equation one times eight, three eights are minus 24, minus 24 X. And eight, five eights are 40, so plus 40 Y. Minus one times eight, minus eight. So that's still equation one. And what I'll do, I'll write equation two again here. The so X minus 40 Y equals minus 38. That's equation two. So now we have 40, negative 40. So if we add them, so we'll add these two equations. So minus 24X plus X minus 23X. 40 plus negative 40 will cancel, give zero. But then you've got minus eight plus negative 38. So that's minus 46. The X then will be minus 46 on minus 23. The X then will be two. So now we'll put two back into, say, equation two here. So sub x equals two into equation number two. So that's, use that one there. So we've got x minus 40y equals minus 38. And now we'll put our two back into here. So you'll have two minus 40 y equals minus 38. So minus 40 y is going to be minus 40. So y will be one. That's your second part of your solution. So your solution then is two, one. This is example five, our last example. Now a little bit different, we have equations which are presented as fractions. So we're going to want to get rid of these denominators here. We don't want these denominators here. It just makes your life difficult. So we need to get rid of these first. So let's write equation one. Plus y plus one on three equals two. So let's fix this equation and change the color. Now we have four and three. The way to get rid of four and three would be to multiply everything by 12. So here, here, and also the last term, 12. Why do I do that? Because I see I can divide four into 12, which is three. X minus two plus three into 12, four y plus 1, and 2 twelve to 24. So you're allowed to do that. You multiply by a number at every term. The equation doesn't actually change itself. It just looks different, but it's actually the same equation. So now we have no denominators. So then we just expand out. Let's go back to red. So 3 times x, 3x. 3 times minus 2, minus 6, plus 4 times y, 4y, 4 times 1, 4. 
but make sure you expand into both parts of your expression there equals 24. So now we've got 3x plus 4y minus 6 plus 4 minus 2 equals 24. I've got 3x plus 4y equals 26. So that would be your first equation. So let's write it up here out of the way. So 3x plus 4y equals 26. But that's exactly the same as this equation here. It just looks completely different, doesn't it? So let's do our second one because we need to change that. x plus 1 on 7 plus y minus 3 on 2 equals a half. So think what number and 7 and 2 and 2 divide into. That must be 14, right? 14, 14, and 14 here. So then, 7 into 14 is 2. I'm left with x plus 1. 2 into 14 is 7. 7 y minus 3, 2 into 14 is 7. This is equation 2. Let's simplify a bit. 2 times x, 2x. 2 times 1, 2. 7 times y, 7y. Seven, 7 times minus 3, minus 21 equals 7. That's equation 2 still. So we tidy it up. 2x plus 7y minus 21 plus 2 will be minus 19 equals 7. So 2x plus 7y equals 19 plus 7 is 26. Equation 2. So we write our equations down again. 3x plus 4y equals 26. Equation 1. 2x plus 7y equals 26 as well. Okay, so notice that these terms are different. We've got 3 and 2, and we have 4 and 7. So we're going to have to change both of these. So how about let's make this one into 6, 6x. These two here, which means we multiply this one by 2, and we multiply this equation by 3. And that will give us 6x that we want. So 2, 3 is a 6x, plus 2, 4 is a 8y. 2 times 26, 52. Equation 1. And then the second one. 3 times 2. 3, 2 is a 6x. 3 times 7. 21y. And 3 times 26, what's that? 3, 6 is a 18. 3, 2 is a 6, 1, 7, 78. So that's 78. Equation 2. Okay, so now we can subtract these two equations. 6x minus 6x is 0. 21y minus 8y is going to be 13y. And 78 minus 52 will be 26. The so y in this case is 2. Okay, so now we find our x value, put it back into one of these, that one there, for example. So sub y equals 2 into equation 1 there. So we'll have 3x plus 4y, y is 2, equals 26. So 3x plus 2 fours are 8, 
equals 26. 3x equals 26 minus 8. What's that? 3x equals 18. So x equals 6. Okay. So those are your two solutions there. x equals 6 and y equals 2 for that one. So you could write your solution as 6, 2 as well.